Today, I believe that you came for a purpose. And I believe that you did not just go through the rain just to come and sit down here and go back home. God always responds to people's faith. If you act in faith, he responds to you. There are many things happening to us, but sometimes we get perplexed. But tell someone, don't be perplexed. It's part of the world. <laughs> but God has given us the answers. I will read a scripture and share some few thoughts with you. And this scripture is found in 2 Kings chapter 6. Uh, I will read from the 16 to uh, the 18th. Then I will talk. This is a story about Elisha who operated in a certain level. I want you to understand that there are realms. Tell someone there are realms. You see, the realm you operate is what wall either give you a victory or they make you lose the battle. There are two realms. The physical realm and the spiritual realm. And in the spiritual realm, there are two areas. There is the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. It is these two kingdoms that control the physical world. So if you don't know how to deal with this area, you will always be fighting and fighting nothing. Elisha passed on and his servant took over. And there was a day in the story I'm going to read. It's a story which the king of Syria decided to have battle and warfare with Israel. But he had a very strong army and knows that that battle, when he fight, he will win. But no battle is fought without planning. No matter how strong you are, if you don't plan and strategize, you will lose your battles. So he met with his chiefs, his army officers, and anytime they met and put up their plan, there is somebody in Israel, Espenrich, that always received information from within the camp of Syria and tells the king. For many times, the king tried to enter there, but by the time he gets there, as if information had been passed on. So he decided to distrust the people around. Sometimes you don't know who is against you. So he asked them, who is not on our side? But there is some spy among us that any time we meet, by the time we finish, information is passed on to our enemies. Who is that person? They say, King, you don't have to even talk too much. You don't need to get any investigative uh, apparatus to be able to find out the person. The person who sees everything 
is called Elisha. Even in your bedroom, whatever you do in your secret bedroom, the man can see. In all the other things that God sees everything. Whatever you're doing, God's eye is upon you. Man may not see you, but God sees you. And he's the rewarder of them. That said in the sincere heart, sometimes men may not know your heart, but God knows your heart. The God that sees when you walk with him, you see, he is not limited with geographical or physical area. God is a spirit. And in the spiritual realm, there's no distance. In the spiritual realm, I can be here and be in America within a second. So, Elisha, they said, is the man called Elisha? Then the king quickly uh, organized his army. He said, then we have to arrest this guy so that we'll be able to finish our work. So he planned and sent forth one man, a chariot, battalion, military, surrounded the place. You know, when they are coming, they come by dawn. When they come to arrest you. They don't come when you've gone out. They will come before you get up from your bed. So they surrounded the place. Elisha moved out. His servant came out in the morning. And he saw all around them military men who were armed to the teeth, ready to arrest them. He saw it with his natural eyes. And anytime we look at them with our natural eyes, what happened is fear. It's very fearful. You can say, oh, cash away. But the thing is in front of you. You can even say, oh, I am not afraid. But inside you, you are afraid. He turned and went to the bedroom, woke his master up. Are you sleeping? Look, alas. And anytime anybody scream, alas, there is trouble. Look at them. They've surrounded us. We are in trouble. And this man of God, sometimes you may not understand men of God when they are prophesying that Africa will change. And you look at it with your own eyes. The thing they say, it will change. It looks like it's rather deteriorating or going worse. The spiritual realm operation is different from the physical realm. Elisha was looking at the spiritual realm while his servant was looking on the physical level. And the physical level went and shook him. So Elisha said, those who are with us, they are more than who are against us. Tell somebody, those who are with you, they are more than those who are against you. Truly, if we know people who are with us, if you know the God who has with with you, the God, the Spirit who is in you, you will never be afraid. Why the Bible says that greater is He that is in you than the one that is in the world. Sometimes we don't understand that receiving Jesus Christ, receiving the Holy Spirit into your heart, you have received some great and mighty power within you. But because our mind sees only the physical and we cannot see our spirit, we are afraid. Let me tell you, man is 
the being that the only being that can is made of part of God and that live on the physical thing. And God has created man, giving him a capacity. What you are in the spiritual, what you can receive in the spiritual realm, you have no idea. If you read the scriptures very well, the man who was at the gathering, who was possessed by the demon, and Jesus cast out the demon. One man demon, it took how many animals to be able to contain? That is the load that a man can carry. The spiritual load a man can carry when it comes out. Thousands of animals couldn't carry that. They chain him and he will break the chain. Spiritual Samson. That's the other side of Samson. What it means that when God's spirit is upon you, nothing becomes impossible. All things become possible. He told his servant, servant, those who are, he said, master, you don't know. When people, you, you finish and if you, you finish preaching, you go and sleep. You think that's all. Come out and see. The master sometimes, the master didn't know. You see, the things haven't changed. Elisha is seeing differently. And a servant is seeing differently. Elijah sees the spiritual army. His servant is seeing the what? The physical army. You are seeing the spirit, the physical disease, but someone who is seeing the spiritual word that heals. So you enter in a situation, what changes you is whether you have the word in you, whether you have the revelation in you, yeah. revelation changes everything. Yeah. So he prayed and said, open what? His eyes. Was the man blind? Open his eyes. What he's saying is that take him from the realm of the physical and move him to the realm of the spiritual. And when his eyes got open, nothing has changed. The soldiers have not left. The situation is still the same. But the faith of the servant has changed. For the word has been made physical to him. It has been made flesh. It is when our eyes are open and we have understanding and revelation come in the word. That is where fear moves away. The situation didn't change. But revelation has come. He was seeing different things now. What he sees is not the army of Syria, but the army that come from heaven. Those who are for you, they are the ones you see. But unfortunately, believers see the physical army more than the one with you. He turned. Then he prayed. That's the first prayer he prayed. He prayed a second prayer. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Look, you don't know the protection God gives you. Sometimes the, prote the protection God gives the believer, sometimes the believer is not aware that he's protected. That is why if we walk honestly with God and faithful with God, 
Nothing can by all means hurt you. No juju. No enchantment. I remember I said somebody who told me uh, the daughter got born again. He was angry that I, uh, the daughter got born. He said, our family, nobody gets my, child, my child. We are all other worshippers. How did you change the person? So you, in two weeks time, you will die. I told him that's the wrong person. And then next two weeks, I'll come here. If I don't die, you accept Jesus Christ. <laughs> Truly, after the two weeks, it was a Sunday, after, it was Saturday that he told me. After two weeks, I waited for one day. That I went on Sunday after church. I agreed, but unfortunately, I didn't care. Unfortunately, the day I went, that was the day he died. And it pained me that I never had the opportunity to tell him. I don't know whether the powers were strong. And when he threw it, back to sender. If you have Christ in you, there's no reason why you should be afraid of any spiritual person somewhere. Because your backing is stronger than the backing of that person. Situation might be dull spiritually. In fact, the source of or solution can be done spiritually. The gentleman's eye opened and he prayed another prayer. God, close your eyes. The, the military, the soldier, he said, Lord, bring blindness to them. So the people got blind. The people who were looking for Elijah with all their intelligence, they went to the man they were looking for. And the man asked him, who do you want? He came out. He said, I want uh, Elijah. They have his picture, everything. He said, the guy is not here. Follow me. I will show you where he is. They followed the enemy they were coming to arrest and to harass. And he captured them. One man in the spiritual realm captured a complete army and said, follow me. God has the ability to confuse your enemies. When they sit down to plan against you, God sits in heaven to laugh because he knows that the people, those who are for you, they are more than those who are against you. Eventually, he took them to the king's uh, uh, palace and he prayed another, a third prayer that God opened their eyes. The people were not blind physically. They could see physically. But their mind their decisions, what controls, how they identify things have changed. Carry them. And when he prayed, they saw their enemies surrounded them. They were disarmed. The king said, let me kill them. He said, hey, did you capture them? So he applied a convention. That when you arrest a prisoner uh, in a war and he has become uh, helpless, you don't kill him. He said, rather feed him and let him go. Because they will be your ambassadors. The enemy that is chasing you will be your ambassador. He will go out and say, hey, that guy, that church, these people, don't touch them. You can't messed up with them. So they went. 
And when they went, the Bible said that they stopped. They never came back again. They never planned war against them again. Because they've become evangelists for us. They go and tell everybody. Let me tell you, you can deal with situation in the spiritual realm. If you face any situation, know that there is an answer. And when you look at the answer, and you are able to tap into the answer, you will get the result. This king, today, all of us have some kind of battle. We see things around us. We see warfare. We see battles. We see things that our eyes that are frightening. But I want to encourage you today it's a day that the Lord will cause you to blind in your enemy's eyes. And the Lord will surround you with his protection. And the Lord will take you. Some of us don't believe in the spiritual realm. Let me tell you the reason why uh, the spiritual is higher is because the, it, it came first. Before the world was created, the spirit was there. And God spoke. Anything that happened came out of the spirit. So the source of everything we see here has a link in the spiritual realm. Jesus will see somebody who is bowed. And he sees, he said, Come out! And when he goes out, the person is treated. He meets somebody who nobody could not change. And in the physical eyes, you see a human being who you can give any name. You may call it lunatic. You may call it uh, 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 santic. Luna and sun, whatever you mention it. Whatever name you give to it is a name. But there is a power behind. And when that power is dealt with, the situation is solved. I remember just briefly, recently, we went to a place and we saw a woman. Where she was supposed to park? We went there. We parked there. And they were a little bit angry. Maybe they wanted to insult us. Eventually, they realized that we were the one. So we realized, after we realized, we tried to chase them. We didn't get them. Later, we managed to get in touch. And she was seriously sick. She came to Ghana. She was sick. The doctors have done everything, all kind of tests. Sometimes, you are not, you know you are not sick. It, physically, they said you are not sick. But you yourself, you know you are not well. They've tried everything. So, we call. We apply the spiritual principle. For about how many months? So many months. She was going through as if she was deteriorating. Everything was going down. Sometimes you know this thing is ending up somewhere. After we dealt the thing in the spiritual realm, it was not long. Is it how long? Huh? Immediately, the sickness and the disease, which they gave different names and keep on changing the names, left till today. When the source is dealt with, the answer comes. Today you are here. Maybe you've been struggling. Want to pray? Would you like to pray for some few minutes? I want to the prayer to have, Lord, open my eyes. 
one of you, you had a dream about me this week. It wasn't me, it was the Lord who was ministering to you. That person just waved your hand to me. Praise God. Thank you. Your time is now. I want us to stand up. I want us to wrestle. Anything around pulling you away. Keeping you from not getting, reaching your goal. You know you've done everything possible. You have, you have done everything. Those who are not even doing anything, they are, they are making it. You who is doing something, you are not making it. Today, I want us to pray that God move me to that realm. The realm where I can take my breakthrough that will manifest in the physical realm. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. It is for you. You can turn the spiritual realm. In fact, that is the essence of prayer. The essence of prayer is praying so that what is in the spiritual realm will manifest in the physical realm. And that is the essence of prayer. Your breakthrough has been captured somewhere today and today. There is some great thing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, open their eyes like Elisha prayed. I also pray for your servant and your handmaid. Open their eyes. Open their eyes that they may know yes, the power that dwells in them. That they may see Lord, your power that dwell in them. I open their eyes. Open their eyes. That they will walk in the path which you've called them to walk in. Open their eyes. That they will know that there are answers to their situation. Open their eyes. God. Paralostapaya Oh Lord. Our gracious father. We pray for your servants, your handmaid. There are some who are in the same situation. Surrounding them is the is the army, is the harassing spirit. Today we pray in the name of Jesus that open their eyes to see your provision, what you can provide. Once they see it, their fear will subside. I pray in the name of Jesus that your eye will be open. Lastly, I want to pray for anyone who is so sick and there is going to be healing today. Amen. Within a minute, just put your hand on your chest. Father, in the name of Jesus, you've sent me here and any time you send me, there is a sign. When the sign is healing, Lord, touch Every heart, every body, every mind, every one that is sick here. I command you if it's the source of the spirit of the demonic spirit, Lord, I cast it out. If it's physical weakness, oh God, touch it. If it's any part of their body in the name of Jesus, I declare you healed. Now, Satan, take your hand off from them. Take your hand off from them. These are the properties of God. You cannot touch them. Your hands off from their brain to their heart, their internal organ, their kidneys, Lord, their nerves, in the name of Jesus, their eyes, Lord, their heart, every area, Lord. Every area of their body, their blood, every part, their skin, their bones, I decree total healing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Uh, briefly, within a few seconds, I wanted to wait if you have received the healing. Some have got an instant healing. And the feeling you used to feel is gone. Just wave at me, those people. There are those people, look at the hands. Look at the hands. Look at the hands. Look at the hands. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. It happens. It's the bread for, the belie- uh, for, for us. Look, healing is f- bread for believers. And you've taken it. Those who haven't seen 
manifestation it has happened you will see it happening physically in Jesus name. amen and amen <laughs>